Look at that stretch of cars in Israel's south. Vehicles of reservists. They park, then they bolt to a base to get ready for a fight. 360,000 so far, the biggest, fastest call up in history here. For them, this seems nothing less than an existential battle. This is home. We have to protect it. That's uh, the only home the Jewish people have. Without it, every Jew in the entire world is just endangered. Waiting for orders, while above, airstrikes in Gaza grow in ferocity. Every Hamas member is a dead man, said the prime minister. That's a vow that comes from rage. This is what the buildup of tanks and armaments looks like on the border. Israel has the might, but Hamas controls Gaza and its tunnels. It claims it planned for the attacks back in 2022, so it will have prepared for an Israeli ground invasion as well. And as the military and first responders have come across the bodies of attackers, some claim to have seen evidence of that planning, have posted images of improvised explosive devices, rocket launchers, and allegedly meticulous plans and layouts of the kibbutzes. That's chilling. If these images ultimately prove accurate, Israeli intelligence will have much to learn from them. Right now, the learnings are all about sheer brutality. Yossi, what was today like for you? Very rough day. Yossi Landau, the commander of a rescue unit called Zaka. We caught him at the end of a shift after tending to bodies in the houses of an attack kibbutz. He can't escape the images or the feeling that this moment is a terrible turning point. I imagine every room is something that frightens you to go into. No, I look for the mirror for first. Before I go in, I look for a mirror to see if I'm normal. Right. You might have to do that for a long time. Hopefully not. That's the grief and the rage that courses through this wounded country, and it's the momentum behind what may be coming. Adrian, watching to see if that ground invasion happens is critical. What else are people watching for? They're watching the north, Ian. Uh, keep an eye on whether Hezbollah gets involved in the north. People have been told to pack up enough supplies for a few days there. There are underground medical clinics being built. So anxiety about another front is huge. And of course, what does happen next in Gaza? If there is this ground invasion, what happens to those people who cannot get out? And, and as you look back at this, this long, intense week, what, what, what kind of is notable to you? I guess a lot of things strike me. I, I still can't believe the scale of what we're talking about. I can't believe that the intelligence community in Israel missed this. I can't believe the courage of people to talk so openly. And, and I, I cannot believe the scale of the loss in Gaza and Israel and, and the realization that it's not over, that more is coming. All right, Adrian, thank you. And of course, uh, great work this week.